Suppose we have a mass M of 50 kilograms sitting on a plane that does have friction and we're pulling on it with a tension T at an angle of theta with respect to the horizontal. Question is what is the coefficient of friction of kinetic friction given that the acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 whoops that's wrong meters per second squared. The tension is 200 newtons and the acceleration is 2 meters per second squared. This is what we want to find. So what we have to do is look at the forces acting on the mass M. This is the force due to gravity which I'm going to call Mg and that's M times G. This is the force the normal force, I'm just going to represent it generically as F sub N. <clears throat> this is the tension, T, and so the vertical component of the tension, T, this one, this is equal to T times sine theta, and the horizontal component of the tension, this one, is equal to T cosine theta and then of course there's the frictional force in this direction which I'll call little f alright so the way to set up the uh, equation is to look at the vertical forces there are two forces that are acting in the upward direction there's the uh, normal force of the plane acting on the mass M um, upward so that's the normal force plus the force due to the vertical component of the tension which is equal to T times sine theta and since it's not accelerating or moving in this direction this has to be equal to the weight mg if it's accelerating, then the net force in this dimension is going to produce the mass times the acceleration, 2 meters per second squared. So we can write down Newton's second law like this. We know that the force in this direction is T cosine theta, T cosine theta, minus the frictional force has to be equal to M a. So the rest of this is algebra since the frictional force is equal to mu sub k times the normal force. So let's see how can we get what the normal force is. We can use this equation right here to get the normal force. Let me write it over here. Fn, F normal is just equal to mg minus T sine theta. So I can write this equation then as, as T cosine theta minus the frictional force, which is mu sub k times the normal force, which is mg minus T sine theta, like that. And that has to be equal to M times A. Alright, so what we want to do is solve this equation for M sub K. Let me move it up a little bit so I can give myself a little more room here. In other words, this equation right here, we want to solve it for M sub K. So I'll, I'll, I'll move all this to the other side and this one to this side. And I'll write T cosine, cosine theta minus ma is equal to mu sub k times mg minus t sine theta and then divide both sides by this factor in other words I'll write this as t uh, mg minus t sine theta like that so that 
the coefficient of friction, mu sub k, is equal to T cosine theta minus MA divided by MG minus T sine theta. And if I plug in the numbers, mu sub k is equal to T, which is 200, times the cosine I didn't say what theta is and uh, let's see let's make it uh, let's make it easy let's make theta equal 30 no you can't see that theta is equal to 30 degrees so this will be cosine 30 degrees minus the mass which is 50 kilograms times the acceleration which is 2 meters per second squared and all this is divided by the mass which is 50 times g which is 9.81 minus t which is 200 times the sine of 30 degrees and when you stuff all that into your calculator that works out to be 0.1 eight seven that's equal to the coefficient of uh, kinetic friction which is what we wanted to find in the first place and there you have it